Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of We Are Canvas. We are joined this afternoon by our friends Steph and Vincent. Thank you so much for visiting with me for a few minutes this afternoon. Uh, it's a season full of Thanksgiving and giving back, and that is uh, very much a part of what Canvas is uh, at its core. And so thankfully, we have two fantastic people who help Canvas give back. Uh, to the communities that we serve and, and to be known as a leader in those communities that we serve. Part of that is the day we just had yesterday, Colorado Gives Day. So Vincent, I thought maybe we could start with you and just kind of hear a little bit more about Colorado Gives Day and uh, what that looks like at Canvas. Yeah, so Colorado Gives Day, I think most of us are, are probably somewhat familiar with Colorado Gives Day. They know there's one time a year where they get a lot of emails asking for money. <laughs> um, but for those who, who may not be familiar, it is a statewide initiative to basically put the spotlight on Colorado nonprofits that are doing really important work in our communities and also help them fundraise. Um, so this is something that we've, we've wanted to be a part of um, from the Canvas Foundation perspective. Uh, but we knew we were going to have some challenges. Um, it, it's never going to be easy for us because someone might say, well, who do you give to? Who do you support? And we'll say, oh, great organizations like Children's Hospital of Colorado, our Food Bank of the Rockies. And they say, well, why shouldn't I just give directly to them? Um, so, so for us, it, it's, we knew it was going to be tough, but that's why we're really leaning in to asking our CAM fam to make those donations. So I think that's where we're going to hopefully have a little success. Fantastic. I'm excited to hear the grand totals and, and know how we did mm -hmm. on Colorado Gives Day. Um, Steph, I thought maybe you could talk a little bit about the blood drives that Canvas does. And also, in addition to blood drives, sock drives, because I know yes. that's another part. So maybe you could share a little bit about both of those for us. Yeah, well, starting off with our blood drives, um, we host three blood drives a year. Um, we host a summer blood drive, a spring, and a winter blood drive. Um, um, we host them both up north and down here at the home office. Um, we actually recently held our winter blood drive here at the home office on Friday. Um, we're actually going to host one on the 29th of this month um, at our Drake branch. Um, we usually partner with Vitalant, but we're actually going to be moving forward next year um, to hosting them with Children's Hospital, and we're going to be having our canvas label on the blood bus, blood mobiles. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, and then sock drive, our sock drive will be held all the way up until December 17th, where we are collecting gently used and new socks, and we're going to be donating them to homeless shelters and resource centers all across the Colorado communities. So every branch is going to be able to choose their organization that they want to donate to count their socks those are volunteer opportunities for our branches donate them in socks are the number one needed items in homeless shelters so that's why we primarily host this drive that's fantastic and just to dig in and kind of unpack uh, something you said there uh, you mentioned the canvas logo being on some trucks that's actually a really big deal right oh, yeah. that that this isn't just that they you know slap the logo on the side of the blood mobile when they're heading over to the Drake branch, this is permanent canvas uh, uh, branding yes. on the blood mobiles when they travel around the Denver metro area so that people will know, hey, Canvas Credit Union really does care about uh, the Colorado Children's Hospital, right? Yes. And that we are kind of putting our money where our mouths are. Yes, and of course, as we know, blood saves lives, so we're definitely being known for our communities in that aspect. That's fantastic, that's excellent. Um, Vincent, I know you're the executive director of the Canvas Foundation. Yes. Uh, maybe you could just share a little bit about what the foundation has accomplished in 2022 and what you kind of see on the horizon for 2023. Yeah, uh, I, I'm privileged to, to help lead those efforts with Canvas Foundation. And again, for those who may not be aware, um, Canvas Foundation, it is a separate 501c3 nonprofit organization and we focus on supporting schools, families, military, and first responders. So we're trying to, really my job is to, to fundraise as much as possible, and a lot of you guys have heard me say this before, the more money we raise together, the more good we can do in our communities and give back. So that's really kind of what my focus is and what the foundation's focus is right now, is doing as much fundraising as possible and also just bringing more awareness to Canvas Foundation and the work that we are doing in the communities. Um, so one thing to look forward to for next year is part of that bringing awareness. We're, we're actually in the process right now of creating a new website separate uh, just for the foundation. So that'll be kind of your one-stop shop to go to find out about 
new campaigns we're doing, who we're giving money to, um, you know, what events are coming up, whether it's our Canvas Foundation golf tournament or Hero Fest or some new thing that we haven't decided on yet, but all the info will be there. And just a friendly reminder for people who are watching here, mm -hmm. if somebody feels like they would love to give a little bit extra this time of the year because they, they are so blessed yeah. here at the end of the year, how would a Canvas family member go about making kind of an additional donation to the foundation? Yeah, that's a great question. So just like uh, during Colorado Gives Day, uh, we make it as easy as possible. We're right? ease of use, that's one of our pillars. So you can go to our uh, canvas.org and scroll down. There's a button that says Donate to Canvas Foundation. Internally for our CanFam, they actually have another option. They can go through UKG Pro and do it through a payroll contribution. Cool. So if they just log into UKG Pro and then click on the link that says giving, the rest should be pretty self-explanatory from there. Fantastic, fantastic. And it's not only giving of our financial means, but also of our time. Mm -hmm. I understand some uh, family members still have volunteer hours. Do you want to make a pitch on why that's important that they use those volunteer hours by the end of the year? Yeah, I, I'm going to defer to Steph please, to answer please, the volunteer Steph, question. Yes, yes. Um, we want to make a big impact in our communities. Of course, we want to be household leaders in our communities, um, be known for our hearts. Um, so we just want to give back. There's plenty of holiday volunteer opportunities that you can find in our weekly oracle on the ICANN calendar. Um, we have some new exciting things. I know I'm kind of jumping the gun, but <laughs> next year um, we are already planning our um, MLK Day of Service, so that'll oh, be nice. a good one yeah. for um, folks to come out and we can go do a big pantry donation and we're going to be going to donate to some of our nonprofits. But yeah, let's just get those volunteer hours in. Let's make a big impact on our communities. Awesome. Awesome. Speaking of 23, mm -hmm. anything else that you're really excited about and looking forward to in 2023? We're constantly trying to improve and do things bigger and better every year, right? Yeah. So, you know, one of the biggest fundraisers for Kim's Foundation is our golf tournament. Sure. And we're actually in early talks now, nothing official, yeah. but to add a second golf tournament in Northern Colorado. You heard it here uh, first. There you go. <laughs> we have some exciting things. Um, We'll share that a little bit later, but we do have some new things that are in the works for next year. Um, new and exciting volunteer opportunities. I'm always looking for new ways to give back to our communities and support. So there you have it. Excellent. Well, I know that Canvas is known for its heart. We're known for our people. We're known as leaders in the communities that we serve. And so much of that success comes from the hard work of both of you and your team. Uh, so thank you so much for all of your devotion to such a good cause and for leading us into the new year. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for another episode of We Are Canvas. We'll see you back here next week for our next episode. Take care.